that hermit crab that you see eating is one of my two micros that I haven't exactly gotten around to naming yet. And I'm about to pull out my biggest crab. He is, I'm not sure whether, well it's actually she, I'm not sure whether to classify her as medium or large. She's almost to a large. I think she's like barely a large. But her name is Welch's. Come here, Welch's. Because of her color. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it in this light. But I'm going to try and let you see the genopores on her. Which is how you tell male from female hermit crab. I'll see if she'll come out far enough for that. She usually does. I'm just not sure if it's going to be light enough for you to see. She also comes very far out of her shell. You can see there's two dots there. I know the quality is not very good on my camera. But there are in fact two dots right where the big legs attach to the body. There are two dots known as genopores which is what distinguishes male from female hermit crabs. There you go, I'll just sit right there. This is one of my new Ecuadorian hermit crabs. Come here, silly. This is only one in a correct fitting shell. All the other ones are in shells that are much, much, much too small for them. But this one, its name is Piggy, but I'm not sure if Piggy will come out for us. I don't know if you can see, but the shell as a D shaped opening, as you can see that looks like a D, the opening. Yes, now let's see if this silly little boy will come out. There's Welchers, everybody. Here he comes. Hello, sweetie. Say hi to the camera. See, when they're younger, they have kind of a bluish color, a bluish, grayish, sometimes they're greenish even. And um, as they grow older, they get this rusty red color, which, go back in your shell, sweetie. I don't know how well you can see the big pincher, because Piggy is not cooperating. But on that leg, you can definitely see it, the rusty red color that Peggy's starting to get. That is their adult color. So Peggy is just starting to gain his adult colors. Ecuadorian hermit crabs are actually one of the smaller species. So in like 10 or 15 years, Peggy might get as big as Welch's. But I doubt Peggy will get much bigger than Welch's is because they're just a smaller species. Welch's, on the other hand, can grow to probably around baseball, maybe even softball size. Just depends on how big of a tank I keep them in and other things. And I am moving them into a 55 next month, so watches will probably get very big.